Buckle up guys, because we're about to take a ride through the history of one of the most iconic American car brands, Dodge. Now we all know the famous words of Ricky Bobby's daddy, if you aren't first, you're last. But it seems like Dodge didn't get the memo, because they've been playing catch up for over 100 years. How it began? It all started with the Challenger, which didn't hit the scene until well after the Mustang and Camaro had already stolen the spotlight. But Dodge didn't let that slow them down. They took the Challenger and made it their own, giving it a bold, muscular design that turned heads wherever it went. But just when it seemed like Dodge was getting a foothold in the pony car market, the production life of the Challenger was cut short. The first generation only lasted until 1974, leaving Dodge fans clamoring for more. The second generation existed from 1978 to 1983. But let's be real, it was a rebadged Mitsubishi Galant that even Mopar purists prefer to forget. So it's safe to say that Dodge has had its fair share of ups and downs. But here's the thing, Dodge doesn't believe in being second best. They don't believe in settling for anything less than greatness. And that's why they keep pushing the limits, creating cars that are faster, stronger, and more impressive than anything that came before. So let the Mustangs and Camaros have their moment in the sun, because when it comes to Dodge, they know that they're not just in a race, they're in a battle. And they're not going to stop until they come out on top. In 2008, the Challenger was given a new look with the retro style and modern Hemi V8 engine. At first, it was able to compete with other similarly themed Camaros and Mustangs. However, Dodge eventually fell behind as Chevy and Ford continued to improve and modernize their machines. With the Challenger at risk of being left behind, Dodge changed its approach and emphasized its legacy by prioritizing big horsepower and fast quarter mile times, which were more traditional measures of performance. The wild world of Hellraisers. It all started with the 2015 Challenger SRT Hellcat from Dodge, a car that was designed to cause chaos and turn heads. With its devilishly powerful 707 horsepower supercharged 6.2 liter V8 engine, this beast stole the crown of power from its crosstown rivals in the blink of an eye. Can you imagine the feeling of hitting 60 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds and crossing the quarter mile finish line in 11.6 seconds at a whopping 126 miles per hour? That's the kind of adrenaline rush that money can't buy, or can it? With a starting price of around $60,000, the Hellcat's horsepower was an absolute steal. But that's not all. The Hellcat also came with a refresh for all Challenger models, including updated looks, improved powertrains, and better interior. And it didn't stop there. The Hellcat set the stage for even more insane SRT versions of that Challenger to come. Next in line was the 2018 Demon, which was specifically designed for drag racing and had a production run limited to only 3,300 units. Despite its drag racing capabilities, it was still street legal and came with a factory warranty at a price of approximately $86,000. The Demon had an upgraded Hellcat V8 engine that produced 840 horsepower with 100 octane race fuel and was capable of lifting its front wheels off the ground. Dodge boasted that it could complete a quarter mile run in 9.65 seconds at 140 miles per hour on a perfectly prepped surface which resulted in an NHRA ban that Dodge proudly advertised. The Hellcat Red Eye was introduced in 2019, with Charger and Challenger versions available. While it shared some parts with the Demon's engine, its horsepower was capped at 797 due to its inability to run on race fuel and reduced airflow. The Challenger version was tested, which could reach 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and complete a quarter mile run in 11.8 seconds at 125 miles per hour. However, these numbers were similar to those of non-red-eye models that were $11,000 cheaper, demonstrating the limitations of tires. In 2020, Dodge launched the Superstock, which had an output of 807 horsepower and was essentially a reincarnation of the Demon, minus some features like the transmission brake and race fuel tune. It was equipped with four 315 section width NITO NTO 5R drag radials and a rear load transfer suspension. The Superstock was priced at $82,790 and could allegedly complete a quarter mile run in 10.5 seconds at 131 miles per hour on a prep surface, according to Dodge. Jumping ahead to 2023, Dodge enthusiasts are bracing themselves for the end of an era as the brand's period of excess draws to a close. Regrettably, 
The Hellcat V8 will soon retire after almost a decade of impressive performance and countless Chargers and Challengers. In addition, both models will cease production this year to pave the way for electric muscle cars. Throughout the final farewell, Dodge has bid farewell to its beloved beasts with a series of special edition last call models, consisting of seven parts that kicked off last August. The seventh and last car has now been unveiled, and it's the most insane street legal machine ever to roll out of the SRT lab. Not only is it daring, but it's also a symbolic gesture of defiance to detractors who have criticized Dodge's Hellcats for being one-dimensional. It's 1025 horsepower. Dodge has done it again with their latest muscle car masterpiece, the 2023 Challenger SRT Demon 170. This bad boy has a mind-boggling 1,025 horsepower and 945 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, you heard that right. To unlock its full potential, you gotta feed it E85 gasoline. But even on regular gas, it's still a beast with 900 horsepower and 810 pound-feet of torque. And boy, does this car have personality. The hood scoop proudly declares that it's alcohol injected, and the exhaust sound will make your hair stand on end. Plus, it's not afraid to show off doing wheelies and rocking a parachute like a boss. But let's get to the numbers, shall we? According to Dodge, the Demon 170 can hit 60 miles per hour in just 1.66 seconds and finish a quarter mile run in 8.91 seconds at 151 miles per hour on a fully prepped surface, mind you. So yeah, it's not going to be that fast on the street, but who cares? This car is a dream come true for speed freaks everywhere. Known for its hardware, Dodge CEO Tim Kuniskis spilled the beans to a group of auto journalists a few weeks back, revealing that the development of the Demon 170 wasn't all smooth sailing. They blew up a few engines in the process, causing delays and sending the team back to the drawing board. But hey, it wasn't all bad news. The setback ended up costing them more money, which they invested back into the project. Now, you might think the Demon 170 is just a souped-up version of the previous model, but you'd be wrong. Sure, they both have the same 376 cubic inch displacement and an iron block, but the 170's engine is like the Hulk version of the old one. They've beefed up everything from the crank to the connecting rods to the bearings. The cylinder heads are held in place with steel studs, and the cylinders themselves can handle way more pressure than before, up to 2500 PSI on E85. But that's not all. The Demon 170's engine also sucks in air through a massive 105mm throttle body and the injectors can pump out up to 164 gallons of fuel per hour, which is more than your average showerhead dispenses water. And let's not forget about the supercharger. They've gone and modified the one from the Elephant crate engine, making it even bigger at 3.0 liters and capable of generating a ridiculous 21.3 PSI of boost pressure. That's way more than the old Demon's puny 2.7 liter supercharger, which only managed 14.5 PSI. So yeah, the Demon 170 is one seriously impressive machine. To manage the incredible power of the Demon 170, Dodge reinforced the driveline, making the drive shaft 30% stronger and the rear axle housing 53% stronger. The differential now has larger ring and pinion gears, and the 8-speed automatic transmission is paired with an improved transmission brake. The new Transbrake 2.0 allows for more launch configurations and the ability to adjust the torque curve to match surface conditions resulting in more torque at the rear wheels for stronger launches. The suspension has been retuned to reduce front end lift, and the rear is now 50% firmer. The Demon 170 comes equipped with Mickey Thompson ET Street R drag radials, which are said to provide an advantage over the previous Nittos. Additionally, the car is ready to go straight out of the box, as Dodge no longer sells a separate Demon crate with the necessary equipment for the quickest quarter mile runs. What's the price of the Dodge Challenger Demon? If you're planning on taking this bad boy on a road trip, you'll be happy to know that Dodge will offer a street tire package to increase your safety on the road. The cost of the kit and adding a passenger seat is still unknown, but we're hoping it won't break the bank. The 2023 Demon comes with various options, including the option to upgrade to two-piece wheels made of aluminum and carbon fiber for a whopping $11,495, which saves a combined weight of 25 pounds. Dodge also got rid of the old Demon's front fender flares, resulting in a weight loss of 16 pounds for all 170 models. The new car weighs about the same as the old model, with a claimed weight of 4,275 pounds. For those who want to take their Demon on road trips, Dodge will offer a street tire package to increase the car's safety, 
but the cost of the kit and adding a passenger seat is currently unknown. The standard 170 model comes with only a cloth driver's seat, but the option to upgrade to Napa leather front buckets is available. The 2023 Demon 170 will start at $100,361, with orders opening in the spring. Production will be limited, with Dodge aiming to build up to 3,000 copies for the US and 300 for Canada between July and December 31. The end of the Hellcat V8 marks the start of a new era for Dodge, and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us. But for now, buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life with the 2023 Dodge Challenger Demon SRT 170. What is your opinion of the 2023 Dodge Challenger Demon SRT 170? Do you think it's worth waiting for?